Hiya and welcome back to another quick video on the NSEQ uh, routing system for the Harrier. A couple of you have uh, commented on the quality of the video and um, you mentioned that you were unable to see what I was doing so I'm going to quickly show you again using the left screen and I've zoomed it in a bit to, uh, to help you. So again thank you so much for the feedback. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing it again. I've already inputted some waypoints for you guys to uh, to see. So the waypoints that I've inputted, as you can see, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9. So I've got 9 waypoints inputted. I'm going to go ahead and do waypoints 1 to 4 as my ingress, and then the remainders as my, uh, my egress. And then I'll mix it up and show you different options. Just as a note, you can only input 20 waypoints. So if you do have more than 20 waypoints, uh, waypoints inputted, you will only be able to select up to 20. Again, it doesn't matter. You can have four ingress and the rest is egress. It's entirely up to you. So for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you uh, using waypoint one and four. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to again be on the, the map screen. I'm going to go ahead and use button two and select data. Then go ahead and use button 11 for the NSEQ. Again, I did comment yesterday about the um, placement of the text. We are looking at changing the font size for this, but um, it's not going to be in the current update. We want to make sure that we choose the right font and the right size where it doesn't um, doesn't cause any issues for, um, for people using VR, being further away and so on. Because again, it affects all text, not just this bit. So if I go ahead and press uh, the um, NSEQ button, we've now got on the ODU the ingress, egress, terminal and the reset button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click the, uh, the ingress and I'm going to simply put in waypoint 1, 2, 3 and 4. So waypoint 4 is my, uh, my target zone. Again, if you receive a zero, 00 like you do here, then it means there's no data has been inputted. If you receive a number, then that's the waypoint. You can go ahead and reset it, and then you can just simply start again. So just put those back in. If you go over 20 waypoints, you'll just receive two stars to tell you that the computer is full. So let's go ahead and do the egress. We're going to do waypoints 5, 6, seven and eight just to show the cool views and, and what they look like. So now we've inputted the ingress and the egress. What I'm going to do is I'm going to untick the data because I don't need it. Now I've finished putting the data in. And as you can see up here on button 10, you've now got the NSEQ option for the screen. If I go ahead and click that, what you're then greeted by is the different color options for the screen. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. So we've got the ingress, which is this light color, and then the egress, which is orange. It's nice and simple. I mean, you, the waypoint part still works. If I go ahead and move to waypoint four, what you can see is you can see obviously the transition between the ingress and the egress. Now, again, like I said, it doesn't have to be the same route. What you can do is you can tweak it, you can play with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to untick this. This is important. If you don't untick this selection, you won't be able to delete and then re-input data. So when you want to re-edit, you just need to unselect. Again, you can obviously toggle it as well if you want to um, on the overlay anyway. So if you have the overlay, you can have the waypoint set up and then you can just simply toggle with the, uh, the NSEQ button. But let's go back to the data now. And what I'm going to do, I'll just come out a bit. I'm going to go ahead and select the NSEQ. I'm going to click on the um, ingress and I'm going to reset. I'm going to reset the um, egress as well. And I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to do my ingress as 07 and 06. And my egress is going to be 5 and 3. So I've completely changed it up now. So we're coming from a different uh, different viewpoint, different uh, ingress route. So if I now come out of data, I'll just zoom in a bit more. And then I go ahead and press the NSEQ. You can now see that we've got a completely different um, ingress egress route so if I go ahead and go back to waypoint three so you can now see you got waypoint uh, sorry it wasn't free was it it was did I said it to you I can't remember what I said it to you now okay so it's um, waypoint three hold on what did I set that to sorry I'm 
losing my marbles here. What did I set that to? Let's go back to data. Uh, and SEQ. Ingress was six. Finishing on six. And then we've got the three for the ingress. Okay. Okay, so we've got waypoint six, then seven, and then we go down to waypoint three for the ingress and the egress. So you can see it's completely different. So we've entirely changed it. And what you've noticed here is if you notice the waypoints, they're no longer going through all the waypoints. They're skipping waypoints. The reason why it's doing that is we're now on NSEQ. If I come out of NSEQ, it will revert back to the original waypoint settings. So again, it will only specifically choose the waypoint routes in which you set for the NSEQ. If you try and delete the data while you have NSEQ uh, selected, so if I go back to data, into the NSEQ route, and I reset, that's not an issue. But what you find is you can no longer enter data. It will always revert back to zero, zero state. If that happens, just remember to go back into the NSEQ and just unselect it. And then when you go back into the data aspects, you can then input it without any issues. So I hope that helps um, with a better viewpoint. And again, really appreciate the feedback. And I look forward to, uh, to seeing you guys on the, uh, the next video. Thank you very much.